Hi guys, I thought I'd show you my solution for a dust on my small little CNC router. Okay, very simply, it's just a dust boot which is connected up to a vacuum tube which is then connected to the handle which is then connected to your vacuum cleaner. Not that hard, very simple. I've made a clamp up here at the top just out of 20mm uh, HDPE easy to make, I took a couple of minutes to route it out, you know, just make something that works really. Um, the tube is one of those standard old vacuum cleaner tubes which has the button on the top um, and the notches in the side so you can actually, so it actually locks the actual tube and a dust bit. Once again, nothing special there, HDPE, um, about a 40mm dome in a hole, maybe 50, oh, I can't remember. Uh, actually made a channel of about probably another 15 mil and another matching area here which I routed out oh, about 17 mil down into the 20 mil of um, HDPE. I've actually notched, notched out the bottom of the tube here so when you actually put the, boot, the dust boot on or dust shoe on okay it will suck the air in from the side Okay, really simple. It works. It picks up the dust, all the dust that I want it to pick up. Um, that's the fine dust in the air, which is an issue for us all. Okay, um, dust shoes, normally I keep it in the up position. One of the problems with all dust shoes is changing your bit. It sucks. You've got to undo everything, pull it off, change the bit and do it again, put it back on. We don't do it and get dust in our lungs. It just wastes time. Um, something we don't want to do. Uh, to change bits, it's really quite simple. Put your Z-axis all the way to the top, press the button, the tube falls down, okay. I can get my hand in there, plus I've got about another inch and a half to two inches above that to actually change the bit. Simple, works. I've only got a three mil bit. The largest I can go is about a six mil. This seems to handle it quite well. Um, as I said, it's just there to pick up the dust the airborne dust, the light stuff that's getting into our lungs, and um, it's causing us all sorts of issues. Normally I keep it in the top position, but if I'm routing an actual flat piece of board, say a piece of MDF, I can actually leave it in the bottom position and ride it and let it ride. Um, you guys have probably seen on, seen on YouTube um, another guy that made a version of a dust shoe out of Perspect, fantastic idea that actually rides up and down so the spindle the spindle actually rides up and down the dust shoe just stays there on the on the piece and it just holds it there and just follows it around on the sheet fantastic idea kind of a, I got that kind of an idea from here uh, for this from there uh, and I got this dust shoe idea from another area I don't know where it is but thank you thank you to both of you uh, putting both of them together has really solved my problem as I said, um, I can let it ride on the job, it'll follow around the job and it will pick up all the dust. If I leave it up the top, um, as it goes down, I've got about 20 mil of bit hanging out from underneath there. As it goes down, it normally picks up about 90% of it. Uh, then all that I have to do is just pull the handle off the top, give it a quick vacuum, as you do anyway to get in and around the grooves and that of boards, and I'm off. Um, pretty simple, works really well. I'm really happy with it. There's another video of it actually um, working. Um, you can't see it too well. I am using a mobile phone to do this video. Um, but it works well. It didn't cost a lot. Um, not much else to tell you except the vacuum cleaner is a variable speed vacuum cleaner. So you can turn it up and turn it down uh, depending on, on what you're cutting. If I'm using a 6mm bit, I, I let it run full ball. If I'm running a 3mm bit or anything under that, I leave it on about half. It's nice, it's not too loud. Um, the only other thing for me to do is actually make myself a little mini cyclone. Um, and um, yeah, that should be about it. So yeah, works well. Um, nothing much else I can say about it. Thank you.